Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to be talking about tretinoin improving the hair follicle or improving the hair growth in detail. So stick till the very end because I'm going to be disclosing all the research that has been done on tretinoin. And also in the description below, I have mentioned all the links for the research. If you are interested, you can go and check out each and every article and review related to this topic. Tretinoin is a powerful derivative of vitamin A. Although it has been known for its anti-acne as well as for photo-aging benefits, it can also be used for promoting hair growth or else bringing back that healthy hair follicle on our scalp. Recent studies suggest or the researchers suggest that the treatment of the minoxidil in combination with retinoin has shown positive results in bringing back that healthy growth. Minoxidil is a drug or is a treatment that is given for the androgenetic alopecia for the male and female hair loss patterns. Usually in androgenetic alopecia, we see the balding patches of bald patches on the scalp. So it's kind of, you know, because of the hormonal changes. The men, due to the increase of the testosterone hormones, start to lose their hairs. And that's why there is like bald patches on the, on the hair scalp. How does this tretinoin help with the hair follicle growth, you know? So that's a question that has been asked by a lot of people. So I thought that I need to dig a bit deeper into this topic because tretinoin, when applied, let's say a topical cream applied on the skin, it penetrates and it penetrates and it boosts the collagen production and also the fibroblast, which gives a rigid shape to our skin. When it reaches the hair follicle or the root of the hair, it starts to also repair that part. When it starts to repair repair that hair follicle, it starts to make the skin cell turnover much faster, which makes the hair follicle become healthy and it becomes intact. And that is how it improves the hair growth on the bald patches. Not only with the hair follicle, the tretinoin also improves the blood flow to a certain area where it's been applied. That's why it makes a favorable environment for the hair follicle to grow faster because it's getting enough blood, it's, uh, the roots are become very strong because of tretinoin and it is much more healthy because there are new skin cells that are coming to the top layer that makes the whole hair follicle structure intact and healthy. There are numerous research findings that suggest that when treated the bald patch with the tretinoin and minoxidil, the hair growth is promoted by 66% on the bald patches as compared to minoxidil alone. Minoxidil also has shown like it is the prescribed drug for the treating the bald patches, but the tretinoin improves the penetration of this minoxidil. So the tretinoin, when applied on the bald patches, it exfoliates the dead skin layer. So the new skin cells are coming on the top, yeah? So these new skin cells starts to get the minoxidil and then they absorb that active treated you know, drug that helps with the hair follicle production or else that helps with the hair growth onto the scalp. In 2007 study, it was a clinical trial where actually the participants were combined with a solution of 5% minoxidil and 0.01% of tretinoin. The results were quite favorable in the suggestion that the combination works the best, but also tretinoin alone itself can also promote the hair growth. If you don't want to use the minoxidil, if you have like bald patches coming on the forehead area here, you can apply a little bit of tretinoin to those area and you can see that the ha baby hair are growing back and there is a new hair growth patch. It takes time. You cannot expect any results within four or five months of application. Sometimes it takes one whole year. You need to be patient. Personally, in my experience, I do see hair growth not only on these areas. I do see that my overall eyebrow growth has improved my my cheek hair is always like uh, coming up and i need to keep removing it. it it does help trust me personal experience i've been using tretinoin for one whole year and i know that it helps and yes tretinoin does show hair growth improvement okay taking together all the research that i mentioned in this video all of the research are strictly towards the category of male 
not towards the women or females okay so the female studies are also being coming into picture there is need of new research coming into the picture because women's study is not that prominent as compared to the male study because males face the baldness much more sooner as compared to women so the studies are restricted towards male but not towards female but i do believe that more research is needed but let me tell you one thing the tretinoin application on the face is fda approved because it helps with anti acne as well as anti-inflammatory properties but it is not mentioned by fda that tretinoin in combination with minoxidil can be used on the hair to promote hair growth fda doesn't say that yes tretinoin can help with the hair growth but the studies do show that tretinoin combinations do help in conclusion i would like to say is that yes tretinoin does help with the hair growth even i have personally experienced that i have seen it on my face also on my eyebrows growth because my eyebrows had been going away and i could see that my eyebrows were not in proper shape and the hair growth was very minimal but after applying tretinoin it came back to normal and my even forehead baldness just reduced so much so i do believe that yes tretinoin do help and also there are numerous research that claims that tretinoin application also helps with the hair growth but in the end i would like to tell you that you cannot go and purchase tretinoin as it's a prescribed drug you need to ask the healthcare professional let's be the dermatologist which concentration will work the best for the skin type that you have and then you can take the tretinoin and then combine it with the minoxidil it is important that you always consult a doctor not assume what is your skin type and apply all sort of formulation out there because most of them are very potent and it can leave redness dryness or even sensitivity on the skin so i hope i covered all the points regarding tretinoin for hair growth and also improvement of the hair follicle if you have any questions regarding tretinoin and hair growth you can write it down in the comment section below and do make sure that you follow me on my instagram handle this is my instagram handle it helps me as an influencer and as a youtuber to grow if you guys have been watching my videos, you might know that I'm collecting funds for the animal shelter. Recently, I collected 10 euros from all of you guys and I did donate it to the animal shelter. This is the statement of uh, that money that I have provided to the animal shelter. And the following month, I got 14 euros, 46 cents for the animal shelter. And I did also transfer that money to the animal shelter that is present in Vilnius. And yes, this is the statement of it if you guys really want to support the animal shelter for the voiceless soul that would be such a great help please do make sure to go and click on the link in the description below that is how you're gonna donate to the street animals who don't have enough food to support their lifestyle so i would request everyone to pitch in as much as you can bye